Hello, 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 and welcome to Module 4. I cannot believe it's Module 4. I am very excited that we're in Module 4 and you guys are all doing so well. Keep up the good work. In Module 4, again, the video is going to land right there so you'll see it. In Module 4, you are continuing with Part 5. We started Part 5 in Module 3. You're continuing Part 5, which is interviewing and selecting your internship. You'll complete Part 5 this module, so make sure you finish that one off. You're also heading into a new um, template with Inspiration Part 2. We're not, we didn't wrap it up last time. We're going to actually continue into Part 2. Um, this week, so again, a 60-point assignment. You also need to make sure that you're doing your community building in Yellow Dig. Really important to get in there and communicate with your peers. At the same time, keep in mind you have a portfolio review, which means we're going to go in and look at your portfolio and make sure that you've embedded all of your templates. So I will show you that in a second. So again, in this module, we are going to look at you know, some fun things with human centered design. Inspiration is where we are. Again, remember there's three phases. So we're in inspiration, which is that first phase. You're also going to be communicating and working on that internship. If you have questions about your internship, please reach out to your instructor. Please reach out to our community engagement folks. They are here to help as well. We have, um, if you're having difficulty and you need help finding an internship, we do have several internships that we have within, you know, with NASU that we can help you with and a few places outside of ASU. So please reach out to us. We are here to help you. Next, let's talk about our objectives. So again, they match the assignments. So again, the first one, interviewing, selecting your internship. The second objective is learning about the human centered design process with learning about inspiration. So let's move a little bit further into this. I want to cover a couple of things. So I am going to jump to the next page of this presentation school-based internships. Let's talk about this just a little bit more. I'm going to click to this presentation. I want to make sure that we clear up any confusion where school-based internships are concerned. So first off, you cannot have an internship within a school where you are a classroom teacher or you are a teacher's assistant. It is not appropriate for this program. If you have more questions about that or if you feel you've been misled, please reach out to us. You can, however, intern in a school, but just not in one classroom. So let's think about that a little bit further. I'm going to move the video up a little bit so you can see the text below. Um, there are several roles that you can take on, and let's kind of jump in and talk about it. So as we go to the next page, what's allowed? You know, you could do an improvement program within the whole school or within multiple classrooms. You could work in the library. You could work with a club. You could also develop something within the counseling or say even um, a special ed classroom, you could develop some stuff that would work with multiple kids from multiple different classrooms. So again, this video is just in the way today, so I'm going to scoot over here. So not allowed being a classroom or a teacher's assistant. One-on-one, -on -one, working with one student for the entirety of your internship, creating a program for a single classroom, substitute teaching a classroom, or working at the front desk. All right, a couple other things that are not allowed. Um, you know, or some of the things that are allowed. These are some of the examples that work. You know, you could work with a local high school along with the teacher to develop a leadership program for juniors and seniors. You could also work with a paraeducator or work as a paraeducator alongside the principal to develop a lunch program. You just can't be in one room, okay? Last example, um, working along with the literacy coach. So again, if you need some help figuring this out and kind of navigating your way through it, please reach out to us. We are here to support you. So a couple other things I want to mention. I'm going to click here again because there's another little cool thing. So as we think about this, just so we're on the same page, you have, this is a three semester internship opportunity. So in this semester, you're going to secure the internships. We're doing all of that. Some of you are right on track. Some of you are ahead. Some of you need to speed up a little bit. So you should be at the point where you are getting ready to interview and select that internship. If you don't finish that this semester, you cannot move on to 484 because in 484, you're going to start the internship and you're going to start working with the different schools and you know the different organizations, the nonprofits, the for government or government associations or government organizations, as well as 
for-profit and non-profit businesses. So you'll start that in 484. You're going to start with the ideation, inspiration, and then in 498, we're going to go into implementation. So it is a full academic year in your internship. So for you, it will be fall and then spring in your internship placement. So it's very important that you secure that internship. Okay, hopefully we're on the same page there. Now let's jump into the meat of this this one, I'm going to delete this one, so don't think that you're going to have to watch two, two different videos, but I didn't want to delete that for those of you that have already started and you're waiting for this video to, to drop in. So let's go to next. So in this one, you were talking about inspiration. For inspiration, of course, there is a handy dandy new template. So in the template, um, I want to make sure that you guys have noticed and seen. I'm going to click into it just so you can see it. Um, did some updates. So our case studies disappeared a couple weeks ago. And that was really sad because the case studies are quite amazing. So I went back in, found a new link for you. So open your reading. Again, if there are links in the reading that are not working, again, if there are links in the reading that are not working, go back into the template. I've updated all the links there. I just can't change the readings because we don't own those readings. We're trying to work with the... Um, design kit people to see if we can get copies of those so we can update them and now put the readings into the template. But that's going to take a minute because there's copyright involved. All right. So as we jump into the template, as you'll see, as you go in again, you know, ideas that you have to work on, think about, and then as you jump in, all of these have been updated. So all of our case studies are back and you will find as you use the case studies, all of these questions are answered really quickly within the case study. So for those of you that were struggling to try to find the design team, we have fixed that for you. So again, you're, if in your case study, I'm going to jump back to this table of contents. Make sure you're completing all the parts. Make sure that you're going through it. Anything we ask you to add, add it directly here to the template. Double check to make sure your links are working and double check to make sure that you have shared everything with us. All right. So let's jump back. So that's your um, design kit. Make sure that you are submitting it into Canvas. You can do it as a PDF, but then make sure you're also adding it to your portfolio. This week, Module 4, we will be also checking those. So again, check the rubric to make sure you're completing all the pieces to this. All right, moving forward. You have a portfolio review, which I talked about. So again, for your portfolio, just make sure that for like inspiration you're adding in you know, there's the template, the first one we did last week, the one that's due this week. Make sure you're embedding them in to your template. Also make sure that you have your home set up. You should also have your about me and you're going to see Amy. And then as you keep looking through this, you're going to see more and more pages. We'll add, ask you to add pages to this that fit into this. So make sure you are updating your portfolio. Very, very important. There are points on the line this week for that one. So again, if you're like, what's happening, what pages, these are some of the pages you need to look for and need to add in. Okay. Also, if you're like, okay, not quite sure how this works, click on, um, check this out. That's the actual link to the portfolio that I just showed you. But then if you want to go back to the original assignment, this is the portfolio assignment and it walks you through all the pages that you need and how it should look. So if you have questions, again, reach out to us. We are here to assist you. Now I'm going to jump back. Hopefully it'll go back. Yes, it did. Awesome. So again, this is the rubric for it. Make sure it's all there so you don't lose your 20 points. Let's go to next. Talked a little about this already. Um, yellow dig. Very, very important. Make sure that you're communicating. This is kind of free points. You get in there, you communicate with your peers, and you get for some free points. So keep that in mind. Communication is very important. We want to make sure that you're communicating and working with your fellow class members. All right, moving forward. Now, internship assignment part five. Talked about this a little bit last week. I want to kind of reiterate a little bit more. You are looking at interviewing and selecting. We gave you some interview tips. You also started working with that communication doc. There's some pieces in there, but you're going to use the template right here. Make sure you guys are using the template. Some of you are giving us some files that like a lot of different files. We need that template. All the links are going into the template, so please keep that in mind. All right, we tried to give you some helpful hints for those of you that haven't done a lot of interviewing. So, you know, make sure that you're ready. Make sure that you're professional. Um, some internship overview pieces. Watch the videos. They're kind of funny. We tried to keep them kind of short, so that way they would be interesting for you. Um, 10 critical steps to ace that job interview. Please watch this because some of you need those tips. So not saying that you're in a bad interview, but we can always improve here. All right, next up, 
I'm going to click next slide. Perfect. Red flags, things not to say. There's some of you are a little too honest. So <laughs> things not to say, things to say, and then telling you about yourself. What does that mean? How should you answer that question? And then some more tips, things to remember. You know, what are you doing Zoom interviews? What are you doing phone interviews? Make sure you're doing your research. Important tips just to kind of help you. And then last but not least, as we move forward, the interview process, what happens next? The goals kind of that you should walk through in your interview. At the same time, you know, you complete the interview, what happens next? So you always want to think about what do you do next and then selecting your internship. Now, for your internship, select something that you really want. Select something that you're excited about because, again, you're spending an academic year in this internship. So think about the location, the hours, the staff, the activities, and the goals. What is important in that internship? All these questions, you know, they're kind of yes and no, but really spend some time thinking about how does this work? What's important? What do you want to, to do? If the location is two hours away, is that really helpful to you? You know, if the hours are early and you're, uh, you're not a morning person, will that work? You know, do the goals align with what you want? Keep in mind all these important things because you want to choose something that fits you. All right. So that's the last part of this one. Of course, there's the references. But keep in mind, this is an important process. Take time, walk through it. All right. After that, that is it for this week. So make sure you're looking at this because there are, again, 50 points on the line, which is really important. Please let us know if you have questions. Have a good week. We look forward to working with you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.